Thank you, Cahirlikan, and thank you to the senators for um, their time this evening and, and for moving along fastly. As you've mentioned, and many have mentioned, we are um, very close to the wire, so it's, it's good to see this pass. I'm very grateful to the House for its consideration of these two motions this evening, and I want to thank all senators on all sides for their contributions to the debate on both motions. And naturally, I would welcome the support expressed by all of the speakers, I think, for continuing these provisions. Uh, and I appreciate the shared commitment in the House to maintaining in place what is a robust legal framework for the Garda and for the courts when dealing with some of the most serious offences that may threaten the state and the operation of the criminal justice system. As I've outlined, it's my view that the 1998 Offences Against the State Act, Amendment Act remains an essential tool in tackling the activities of terrorist groups across the island. We cannot be blind to the ongoing threat that so-called dissidents pose to our way of life. Their disregard for peace and democracy requires a robust and proportionate response. And while I too uh, would very much welcome and like to see a time when these provisions are not needed, now is not that time. We continue to see the devastating impact that drugs have on the families and our communities, the devastating impact of activities of organized criminal gangs wreaking havoc throughout our country. And as legislators, I believe we have a duty to do what is necessary and reasonable to protect those citizens. And again, while I would agree with many senators, it is also my firm view that a jury trial should be preserved to the greatest extent possible. We have to accept that this is not always the reality, that it's not always possible because of the threats posed to our citizens, because of those who seek to intimidate jurors or potential jurors. And so the renewal of these provisions sends a very clear message to those uh, who wish to threaten or to intimidate that this state will not tolerate uh, those wedded to violence, will not tolerate those who oppose peace, democracy, the rule of law. And I'm very grateful to senators for their positive considerations on these motions. In relation uh, to the review, again, I thank the senators uh, for welcoming this commitment. I am fully committed to this review. As many of you will know, it has arisen from the report on the Commission of the Future of Policing, which made a number of recommendations, one of which is a comprehensive review of the legislative framework within, the police, uh, within which the police operates in the area of national security. There is currently a scoping exercise underway with regards to this. It will ex examine uh, a number of areas encompassed by overall our security legislation, and obviously uh, it's my view that it would be sensible to include both of these provisions, but I do take on board a number of suggestions, recommendations made by senators today, uh, and hopefully I will have an opportunity maybe to return to this particular issue at a future date. But again, uh, just to wish you well, Cahirlik, to wish all senators well, and if I could particularly uh, wish me senators well, uh, particularly those who have started for the first time today. Thank you. Thank you.